everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we are playing with the not yet released uh, Chanel quad. This is the, I know I'm gonna screw it up. L Lumeray's A Vibrations. <laughs> it's not right at all, but let's just call it Vibrations. Um, I think that's the best, that's the best choice. Um, so that is the Vibrations quad. I will swatch it later uh, in the video and I will of course do an eye look with it. Um, I also have swatches and pictures up on Instagram so you can see that. That's really the star of today but let's go through and do uh, you know blush and bronzer and all that and it's all gonna be Chanel. Okay so let's do the Chanel Le Beige's, um powder in Sunset. This was gone for a while and I actually noticed it back up on the Chanel website. So if you're interested in it, it is available. Looking for my bronzer brush. <sighs> Sorry guys. So this is available uh, again on, I saw it, I think it was on Chanel.com. Um, I'll make sure it's uh, listed below, but I did see it that it was available. I will pull my hair back when we do the eye look, don't worry. but. For the purposes of the rest of the makeup today, it's it's not about the rest of the makeup. I know that. I know that, and that's fine. Um, I am very lucky to to have this quad um, very very early. It has not released in the U.S. and it won't release in the U.S. until June. June? I think it's June. Um, yeah, it's June. And in addition, um, there will be another quad which has like a purple tone to it. And then there'll be a, um, uh, the um, waterproof liners. There's like seven of those, um, a new formula of those, which I'm very excited about. So can't wait for those to come. All right, let's do highlighter. This is, and yes, I will be picking all of those up because I love, I love those highlighters. I mean, I love those um, liners. This is the Or Rose, the illuminating powder. This is the Lion. And this is like the pinkish one. I'm using an FO4 Chikahoto brush. I really like the FO series. Um, the KZ is probably my favorite, but the FO is, uh, very soft, very comfortable, very easy to use. Really like, really like this series as well. One day I will own like all the Chikahotos, but you know, <laughs> it gets expensive. Um, then we're gonna go in with the Tweed blush. This is Tweed Beige. My Chanel video with all my blushes did include this. This is the KZ brush, KZ4 brush. And um, I really like this blush. It's really pretty. It's just, you know, a gorgeous beige blush, um, but it has like a highlight to it. It's not super strong. Uh, for those of you who are looking for like a really pigmented blush, I wouldn't pick the, the tweeds. I think the tweeds have um, less pigment in them than the other Chanel's. I don't know if that's actually true, but to me it feels that way. All right, so we've got bronzer on, we have highlighter on, we have blush on, um, all the stuff that's, you know. I'm gonna take my um, face one, just blend in a little. Okay, let me um, bring you in so you can see my eyes a little bit better and then we'll swatch it. I've already swatched this um, a couple times uh, for IG and for myself, frankly but not for the video. The formula in here feels very soft. I really like it. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying out the purple shades in the other quad as well, which, you know, I originally wouldn't have said because I wasn't really like a purple person before, but now, but now I am. Those are the shades. And I would say this, these two are satins. 
This is more of a satin and this is more of a matte. So this is more of a matte, sorry, I couldn't remember. This is more of a matte and these are more like satins. I would say this one has more like a shimmer. This is more of a shimmer, these are satins and this is a matte. If I were to guess, like that's, that's my take on it. I'm wearing a new perfume today thanks to um, Abby Bliss White and I'll post something about it on Instagram soon but it smells so good that I just keep going, what is that? And then I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> it smells so good. Like delicious, delicious. Okay, let's go in with the Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. I'm gonna go into that deepest shade. That was the, um, the matte shade or what I think is a matte shade. It's a little hard to tell, but I think it is a matte shade. And this is a very fluffy crease brush, like it's a big brush. If you have a lot of lid space, um, this is like, and you don't want like, you know, a, a very specific area covered, I think this is a great brush. I use this a lot when I want like a shade that I'm gonna really blow out. If I want really specific placement, I'll show you in a minute, I use a different brush because this one, as you can see, covers up like most of my eye. I don't have a ton of lid space. I mean, I don't have a small lid, but it's not, it's not particularly big either. Medium, <laughs> it's a medium lid space. I actually don't even know, but I mean, it's, you know, it's not, it's not extra large. I don't have a lot of lid. So if you do, um, this brush might be more precise for you because you have more space, but for me, as you can see, it covers up most of my, most of my eye. But that's what I wanted. I mean, I want this shade to be a little bit more blown out. As you can see, it's actually pretty pigmented. So um, unlike some Chanel uh, quads that come off like really light, this one is not coming off very light for me. So I have heard some people have used it that said, you know, it didn't get a lot of pigment. But for me, I don't know. It, Maybe because I'm so pale. I mean, that's possible. Um, but that looks pretty, so far, pretty pigmented. I'm just gonna brush a little like all over my lid because I kind of want this as a base. Okay. All right, so next we're gonna go in with a much more targeted brush, smaller brush. This is the Sonia G uh, Mini Booster. And this is what I use from the Sonia G line when I want something a little bit more specific. Um, we're gonna go into that like satin shade, that brown shade. Hopefully there's a little thing showing up of what I'm using here. Um, and we're gonna go into the crease with it and like define that area. This is, yeah, it's definitely a satin. It's really pretty. That's a really nice shade. I think by itself, it'll be really nice too. Um, I have been playing with this for a little while. I've, I've had it actually for some time. I didn't want to do a video with it like right away because first of all, you know, I used to work for Chanel and so I have sort of a, I don't know what the word is, respect, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, I know these don't release until June officially here in the US so I didn't want, I didn't want to make anyone upset. <laughs> about it so but then I saw other pictures of it and I was like okay obviously it's being released in other areas so I felt a little more comfortable you know talking about it but I have had it for a while and I can tell you that this um this brown satin shade is like it's a really pretty shade like you can't see it as well on top of that other shade but it's got like a really nice I'll show you on my hand I mean I, I know I swatched it for you but um it's just a really pretty like luminescent almost brown shade, do you see what I mean? It's got that, like, I don't know. I, I really like it. It's it's almost got like a little bit of pink, which I, I know sounds weird coming from me that I like it, but I, I, just like coppery, I guess, is the way I would explain it. Anyway, I like it. So I think it's very pretty. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take this gold shade, which is pretty gold, and I'm just popping it on the eyelid. You'll see it's it's gold, like it's, it's very pigmented and it looks really pretty. It reminds me a little of the Dior gold um, that came out recently, like the single. And I will be doing comparisons with this. This is not the only video I'm gonna do on this squad, obviously. 
But for the purposes of like, you know, getting this out early, you guys said on Instagram that you wanted to see it. So I'm doing this now so you guys can see it. So when it does release in June, you'll know if you want to buy it or not. But when it does release, I'm actually going to do some videos comparing it to like other shades, um, other, uh, you know, quads in my collection. Um, and I will do on Instagram some comparisons with like this gold shade so that you can see it compared to like um, Dior or um, Pat McGrath, I think would be a good comparison as well. So let me clean up the eye a little bit before we continue. I didn't have to clean up a lot because um, this doesn't have a ton of fallout. Like I'm not seeing it all over my face. There's not, you know, a ton of, like Chanel doesn't really have like glitter. You know what I mean? Like glitter fallout, you don't really see that. Um, there's a little bit, but it's it's slight. Um, okay, we're gonna take the, the light, almost like toppery shade. We're gonna put that as an inner corner. Highlight, it's a very pretty shade. It actually has more opacity than like a true topper. It's more like, it's more like a shimmer, um, but it's still, it is light. So, you know, um, I think it, it works really well as an inner corner and to, to highlight the brow bone, but you can absolutely just use this as an all over color. And like I said, I'll do different looks with it so you can, can see it. But for the purposes of today, this is more of a, First look, you guys can, you know, get your thoughts on whether you think it's something that you'd want. I I really like this quad. Um, I think it's really pretty. All right, and then we'll take a Sonia G. We're doing Sonia G brushes today. A uh, Sonia G um, pencil one. We'll go in with that deepest shade, that matte shade, and run it um, lower lash line. Like I said, it is a pigmented shade. Um, like not too pigmented, but you know, it's pigmented. Um, it has like a little bit of a coolness to it, which I actually, I like. It's really pretty. Um, you can see like it's a pretty pigmented shade. We'll do the same thing uh, of the uh, top, but we're gonna concentrate it like more on the corner. And then I'll show you the eye look and then I'm gonna use a liner, but I'll, I'll use a Chanel liner, but I want you to see the eye look first before I, you know, do anything to it. That is the Vibration Squad. It's very pigmented. It's really pretty. I really like it. Um, I think it's really nice. It's definitely warm toned, so if you don't like warm, you're not gonna like it, but I think the pigments are really good. They blend it out well. The gold shade is probably my favorite. Um, well, actually that satin shade is really nice, like that brown, that lighter brown. But there's these are soft. And so like if you wanna build up this gold, for example, you can. So, and you can do the same with like the other shades. They are buildable. And I just think I really like them. So if you, if you like this kind of look, if you like this kind of gold, um, brown shimmers kind of look, this is for you. This is a really well done quad. It's very soft. The pigments look really pretty. Um, if you don't like warm, the, the other quad that'll be coming out in June is like purple. So, you know, you'll, there'll be a quad for you as well. Um, so let me clean up my eye. I'm gonna put some liner on. I'm probably gonna use the espresso liner from Chanel. I'll let you know which ones I used. Mascara so you can see the full look and then we'll do a quick lip and finish it out. So I just realized I never put my hair back to do my eyes. Sorry about that guys, but I, I think we worked it out okay. So this is the final look. I did use the espresso liner, the Chanel espresso liner and um, Chanel mascara. And that is the final look. I really think it's a beautiful quad. I admit one of the reasons I like it so much is because I have blue eyes. And when you take shades like this um, and put them next to a blue eye, it makes a blue eye pop. So like blue against orange or blue against gold and browns uh, really makes blue eyes pop. I think it would look gorgeous on any color and any shade uh, of eye, but I, I do, I tend to like these shades for that reason. I, I think it makes my blue eyes look bluer. So I tend to like the warmer shades. Um, there's a couple of different quads that this already reminds me of and I will pull those out. I'm sure you can think of what they are already. But um, I think Chanel did a really good job with it. I think it's pigmented, 
It's really pretty. The shades go well together, but they also um, do really well on their own. That brown shade that I showed you on my hand, I really like that. And the really the lightest shade in here, um, it's a it's it's not really a topper because it, it actually has more opacity than that. But it's just a really pretty, um, like, I don't know. It's a gold, but you know what I mean? It has, like, more interest in it than just, like, a plain gold. The gold next to it uh, is the one that I have, like, all over my eye. And that is, that is gold. Uh, and I will compare it to, like, the Dior and stuff so you guys can see that in upcoming videos. But they're just, it's just a really pretty, I think that, like, on a deeper skin tone would also look just amazing the contrast on me there's not as much of a contrast because my skin is so light um so i just think that's gonna look really pretty i also think that's gonna look really great if i if i ever tanned which i don't um but anyway <laughs> but i think the quality is really good this formula of this chanel quad reminds me of some of the formulas that i used way back in the 90s creamier and really pretty and they went on really easily and they blended really easily um, which I really like. Now, the question will be how they wear throughout the day. I have not yet worn this quad through an entire day, so today I will, um, and I will let you guys know. Um, I do have the Nude Brune liner on at the moment. I uh, put that on while I was doing my mascara, right after I did my mascara. So let's use um, the uh, Coco Bloom in Chance. This is 110. I want to pick up more of these, but I'm still wearing masks. So for now, I, I really like these. I, I like these. I love the um, the Gucci ones, the Kiss Kiss. There's been a couple that have come out lately that have like this high shine kind of look. Um, and I like them all. I, I think I like the blooms the best because they do leave behind kind of a, um, a stain on your lip. Which is nice, because uh, right now, like if I put a mask on, on over this, it would be destroyed. Um, same with the East Saint Laurent ones. I love those, the ones that smell like watermelon. Volup Shine, those are beautiful. And I actually like the watermelon. I mean, I know a lot of people don't, but I like the watermelon scent. Um, but, it, you know, it gets wiped out in a second, like if you're wearing a mask. So I don't wear makeup. I don't wear lips under a mask. Um, but these, if you, like, if I was wearing it around or if I was outside and I didn't have a mask on, I would be comfortable wearing this around. And then, you know, after a while it would die down and it would kind of leave a stain behind. And when that, when that's left behind, you can put a mask over that, which is kind of interesting. So, anyway, I know we're here to talk about the quad today. Uh, so, again, this is the Vibrations Quad. It's number 382, uh, 18 month shelf life. You've seen all the details. You've seen it on my eye. It comes out in June um, alongside uh, the purple quad and a whole bunch of new eyeliners. So, you know, I've, I've talked about it ad nauseum here, guys. I think it's a beautiful quad. If you're interested in purchasing it, I will certainly let you know when I see that it is available, but my understanding is June. So we've got, we're in late April. <laughs> so we got two months. Uh, but you guys said you wanted to see it now, so I'm doing it now. I will have more videos um, comparing it to other products um, and like, you know, like the gold against other golds. I'll probably put some things on Instagram, some things here, and I'll do another video with it uh, as we get closer. And of course, I'm going to pick up the rest of the collection. I'm not sure about LaBeige's, to be honest with you, the collection that will come out in May. Um, the green one actually looks pretty to me, which I was like, no because there's so many things. New Papagraph, well, you know, anyway. So, um, I'm not a huge fan of the Beige's collection eyeshadows usually, but I saw it swatch somewhere and I was like, oh, that actually is pretty. So anyway, I don't know, but I'm definitely picking up the summer. So, uh, hopefully this helps you guys decide when it does arrive or plan for the upcoming months and what you wanna purchase. Everything that's on my face today is Chanel, like I said, and it will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.